his neighbor Nate. Uh, so what we have are strawberries here today. They're a, a form of perennial. There's two types of perennials. Usually they start by just a seed. You plant that seed and over time, uh, they're never gonna go away. Year after year, they're gonna be there. They're gonna produce flowers every season. Some perennials produce a flower that comes to fruit and that's the fruit you're gonna harvest such on a strawberry or blueberry or blackberry. But then there's other perennials such as sage and chives that are going to uh, flower, but then they're gonna produce seed after that. As we go on the strawberries, we can see that this perennial, the strawberry, has a type of shooter. Actually, it's a runner. And uh, they're a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, today, they're good. What are you gonna do here to uh, fill in this gap and, and, and produce well, more strawberries Well, we're gonna make a new plant by cutting off the runners from each side of the plant after we bury it. So, and you're gonna show me how to do it properly, right? Yeah, what we do is we dig. We want to make sure that soil is nice and loose. So as you see, there's some rockiness to it. Make sure you take your time, loosen it around all over. Because again, you want that loose soil. It's going to have the roots grow very easily because it, it's just room for it to move and breathe. It's aerated and it's also going to let the water flow freely. And then, the, you know, the plants sure like that. Okay, go ahead and just tap that uh, yep. hormone take root oh, oh that's a little that's too, too, much. too so, much oh no if you do too much just throw it some to the side things again just right there make sure it's deep because you want that water especially when it's young to funnel near the plant not away runners off of each side of the plant we're going to cut them with our scissors so right here we're going to cut right here and over here what i just want to go ahead and clip all those runners wherever you find them Again, make sure uh, your plant, before you cut the runners off, is secured. So move that plant a little bit around. If it doesn't move, if you pull on those little runners beside it that's attached to that starter, that brand new strawberry plant, and they don't move, you know that the roots and plants have taken to the soil. It's fine at that point to go ahead and clip those runners, as you see here in your home family garden. Whenever you see these runners, make sure they're removed as soon as possible. Again, they take over other plants. They can suffocate, swallow those other plants. And again, it just takes away the important nutrients to the leaves that are important for photosynthesis process. But also, those are especially importantly needed to make sure your fruit are healthy, vibrant, stand against disease, produce a lot of strawberries, and make sure they're big and large and juicy for your family's smoothies or strawberry shortcake. Anything mm -hmm. your family plans on using them for to enjoy. Great strawberries. Mm -hmm.